In the previous video, we talked extensively about the branching of the aortic arch. So in this video, we're going to continue with the subclavian arteries, and we're going to talk about how they distribute blood pretty much to their corresponding arm. Okay. Now, the nice thing about this video is what I'm showing you for the right subclavian artery, for the right arm, it is identical to what we see on the left side. Okay. So if you wanted the left side, just replace all these R's with L's, okay? and it would be identical for the left side of the body and the left arm. The only difference, of course, with this is that the right subclavian doesn't come directly off of the aortic arch. We talked about that in the previous video. Okay, so if we're talking about the right arm here, we have the right subclavian artery. So the right subclavian artery, we know it'll diverge into the right vertebral artery, but for this video, we just care about the right axillary artery. Okay? So the right axillary artery is gonna pretty much be right above the armpit, okay, in that area. And once you get sort of into the arm, into the deltoid region, the right axillary artery is gonna become the right brachial artery. Okay. Now, with any of these arteries, they're going to have minor arteries that branch off of them that may serve individual muscles, and you can go learn that eventually. But you really, to understand that, need to understand these major arteries first. Okay. So here's our right subclavian artery. Now, we know from the previous video that it, one, branches into the vertebral artery, but we don't care about that. Here it's going to branch into the right axillary artery, and this artery is going to be sort of in the location right above the armpit. But as you start to traverse past the armpit and go into the arm, the right axillary artery is going to become the right brachial artery. And pretty much the right brachial artery is going to be the entire length of the uh, proximal arm pretty much until you get to the elbow, so the antecubital region. All right. Um, the right brachial artery will then diverge into two major arteries. Okay? We have the right radial artery and the right ulnar artery. So these arteries, the right radial one is going to be the lateral uh, artery when we're in anatomical position. The right ulnar artery is going to be the medial one. Um, but they're going to run down the length of the forearm, so the antebrachial region. right? And eventually, the right radial artery and the right ulnar artery are going to diverge into two separate uh, vessel systems. Okay? One of them is called the right deep palmar arch. The other is called the right superficial palmar arch. So if you think about where the palm of your hand is, you can kind of feel it, look at it. Okay? The superficial palmar arch is really going to be on the side of the hand where your palm is. Okay? Now if you turn your hand over the back of your hand, that's going to be where the deep palmar arch is. Okay? Now these two blood vessel beds, they're supplied by both of these arteries, both the right radial artery and the right ulnar artery. Okay. So, in other words, these two arteries right here are actually going to kind of join back up in these two artery beds. So the right deep palmar arch and the right superficial palmar arch. And sometimes you'll see these two uh, vascular beds actually combined into what they just call the right palmar arch. It kind of clumps together the deep and superficial parts of it. But in any case, the right palmar arches, both deep and superficial, are then going to uh, diverge into the right digital arteries. So the right digital arteries pretty much just serve all the fingers. Okay, So this right here is the path from the right subclavian artery all the way through the right arm. So let's regroup there. We have start with the right subclavian artery. One of its branches is the right axillary artery. Okay, That's right above the armpit. And then when we start going into the arm itself, we get down to the right brachial artery, which then diverges to the right radial artery and the right ulnar artery. Now these two arteries right here in the forearm region are eventually going to meet back up in the palmar regions to form the right palmar arch. And there's a deep region of that and a superficial region. Okay? Um, and so that means that these two arteries kind of come back together. But in any case, the right palmar arches, deep and superficial, then diverge into the right digital arteries, which serve the fingers. Okay? So hopefully this makes sense. And just understand that the left side from the left subclavian artery is going to be identical. The only difference is, of course, you'll have L's or lefts in front of all these instead of R's. So hopefully this makes sense. 
please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. In the next video, we're going to track the movement of blood now down the descending aorta and talk about some of the uh, arteries that are in the abdominal region. Okay, There's actually a lot there, so make sure to join us. And then eventually we'll go and we'll look at all the arteries inside the head and the brain. Thank you.